Hello guys, my name is Amrissa Yagobi and I'm so excited and thrilled to share this video. This video is an introduction about art, art philosophy and drawing. And I'm going to answer some fundamental questions like what art is, why we should learn art, and how we can do that. So stay with us and I hope you enjoy the lesson. Okay, let's get started with the first question. Consider this point as me. And here's a truth. And as you can see, there's a gap between me and this truth. By truth, I mean uh, some questions that we may ask ourselves, like who we are, why we are here, and what's the reason of this existence of the universe, etc. So, for answering their, these questions, we use science, religion, art, philosophy, and meditation. And I'm going to talk about the differences between them. For example, science answers questions regarding the function of the world and how the world works. A religion talks about the existence of God, uh, theology, etc. Uh, philosophy tries to answer questions like well, how, I mean, uh, is there any God? By using scientific methods. And also we have art and meditation that they are trying to do the same by using our emotions and feelings. But there is a difference between art and meditation. As a case in point, uh, Buddha contemplated under a tree, but he didn't have uh, any instrument in order to show and express his feelings you know on the other hand we have Vincent van Gogh that in his painting called uh, Starry Night he is showing us the beauty harmony uh, and the greatness of the world the gesture of the sky of the stars so he is expressing his feelings and uh, as as an audience, we enjoy this work, and we can understand how Vincent was thinking at that moment. That's why I always say that art somehow is more advanced than other things, other ways to fill this gap, because it has something to do with our hearts, and our heart, emotions, feelings, they do not have any limit, but our mind does for example science and philosophy try to work with mind okay and our mind has uh, certain limits so that's why i told that the art is somehow more advanced in this case and the second question is why we have to learn art we learn art in order to understand better the world and in order to fill this gap. And how we can do that? By studying old masters, by studying art philosophy, art history, and other things. We can, uh, I mean, learn drawing, we can learn art. And we have many aspects of art. We have cinema, we have painting, we have installation a lot of movements and a lot of stuff uh, is going here and uh, so let's talk about a drawing drawing is this uh, first instrument that we use in order to observe our surroundings in order to understand our surroundings so I write down here that drawing is the first instrument that we use uh, so as to understand the world that's the definition of drawing 
And I also I have to add something to that. Drawing is a translation process. Why do, uh, what do I mean by that? Everything that we see in our surroundings, okay, there are 3D objects. For example, a, a glass, a cup of coffee. And then we have to translate everything that we see into visual language. which is gesture, structure, color, etc. So we translate everything that we see into visual language and I told that visual language is gesture, the components of visual language is gesture, structure, etc. So that's why I told that Drawing is a translation process because we translate everything that we see around us into visual components, gesture, structure, shapes, perspective, and other things. And why we learn drawing? It's it's simple. In, uh, I said that in order to observe better, in order to comprehend better the world. And how we can do that? Again, by studying. There are a lot of good books. Uh, there are a lot of good tutorials. And uh, that you know, know better than me. Anyway, these two questions are much more important than the third one. Which is the skill of doing and making marks. Uh, okay, let's continue to the third part of our introduction uh, in which I'm going to talk about the, uh, the third question, which is how. I'm going to talk about drawing and its components. Which is... Uh, which are gesture and structure. Gesture, the definition of gesture is a kind of high, uh, hidden, hidden movement inside the living things, lifeline we can say. And a structure is 2D shapes, and 3D volumes. So we translate everything that we see into gesture and structure, into movements, into 2D shapes and 3D volumes. We have three major 2D shapes. They are circle, Uh, triangle and rectangle and we have three major volumes cylinder cube and uh, sphere so the first thing to do when you see an object and, and when you want to draw that object is to first translate that object into gesture and then think about its shapes, its volumes, shapes and volumes. In conclusion, we, we shouldn't copy what we see and we shouldn't draw the contour lines. For example, for a cup of coffee, drawing like this is not correct. As I 
said before, we have to analyze what we are saying. For example, here, a cup of coffee is a cylinder. We have ellipses here. We have uh, we have circles. And here's a combination of volumes. Uh, so that's important to translate what you see, not copying what you see, okay? So uh, that's the first part of my introduction about art and drawing. And I hope you just liked this movie and this video. Please share this video to others if you liked it. And please comment and uh, comment below here on YouTube. And uh, the ways in order to contact me, I have Instagram and LinkedIn. Also, I have our station. I write down my websites on uh, YouTube. So, hope you see you again. Goodbye.